All right, hello. Why is my camera here? I don't want it there. Right now. I'll move it back later. Ah. Yeah, I'll leave. Never mind. I'll leave it there. Oh, uh, where's the thing I need? This. And there it is. Cool. It's raining like crazy outside, and also I'm in my pajamas. I don't care though. Okay, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a reaction to Needles and Smiles, The Lost Tapes, Episode One. Now that I feel good, now to actually like do anything, let's do it. One second. Oops. Sorry, let me pause it. Hello, my name is Dr. England. I used to be make the sure, principal I make sure of Spokane, you Washington hear. High, yeah, okay. but I quit when a one Jeffrey Keaton and his older brother David had poisoned the school with darkness. <laughs> After Jeff spent many a year locked away in Ferguson's asylum, he escaped one grim night, unleashed the inmates from their cells, burning most of the large asylum down. Among the ash and scorched brick lay a black bag with a collection of VHS tapes labeled Project Z, along with some miscellaneous cassette tapes. I will watch and listen to them all in hopes to start to learn what happened behind those wretched walls. And even more importantly, understand what lurks in that boy's eyes who walked into my life so long ago. These are the lost tapes. Someone's feet or foot. What they do? God. Did they try to do electrotherapy with him? That's what it looks like, I mean. I can't tell if he's laughing or or crying. Maybe both. Well, then again, uh. Jeffrey, good to see you again. I must say you're looking a bit worse for wear since we last spoke yesterday at the check-in with Officer Mace. But let's get to it, shall we? How are you feeling in our care, Mr. Keaton? It was more fun in hell. Oh, oh. now, Jeffrey, and where would you be if not at Ferguson's? Sickle Forest? Another town, perhaps? Home? You can't go home. 
be it very literally, you and your brother have burned your house down. Isn't that correct? Shepherd? What? My home stands no longer? You didn't already have that information, Jeff? Who would do such a thing? Uh, some stranger? My brother, maybe. Do you mean your older brother, David? Did he perpetrate this fire? Well, I don't know. Everything is <coughs> fuzzy. Oh, what about Mom, Mom? Well, we're not sure yet. Haven't been able to locate her whereabouts. But I have a strong feeling you and David might know where she resides. Oh, David made me do such horrible things. Oh, bad things. Oh, now it's frustrating. I could never hurt my mom or really anyone. And fire? Are you telling me that the town nickname for you, Jeff the Killer, is a falsehood? Uh, oh, do people really refer to me in, in, in that way? Uh, to think that I, uh, God, would kill anyone? I'm innocent, Mr. Ferguson. You must understand. So you didn't kill anyone? No, 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 no. How could I? Look at me. Look what Chris Max did to me. I'm a victim, not a killer. I'm, I'm just so scared right now. <laughs> He's a very good manipulator. You made it very clear on that. You're not my boy, Jeff. I want to start doing sessions with you. See, I'm currently videotaping our time together. I think talking to me can really help you. Perhaps we can clear this whole mess up. If you didn't kill anyone, you clearly don't belong in my care here at Ferguson's Asylum. But since you are here, how about we do all that we can to assist you? Sound good, Jeffrey? Oh, huh? Lady, don't think. Well, even just listening could make all the difference. Okay. Hold on. I need to uh, bring up the volume a little bit. Cause I can't hardly hear him. Wait, is there, is there captions? First things first, Jeff. How about we we'll see, can it, can it, We do all that we can to assist We'll see if I can hear Jeff's voice Sound real quick. good, Jeffrey? Oh, huh? Lady, <laughs> don't think. Well, even just listening could make all the, 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 the difference. Oh. Okay, so it can hear, okay. First things first, Jeff. How about we take off that mask? What do you say? For the camera. You were doing just fine until my friend Dr. Paxton set up the camera. You lunged in a panic to your bedside and quickly covered your face with that pillowcase. I don't want people to see what's underneath. May I take it off for you? Through me, you pass to the city of woe. Damn. Diane, please get me some coffee. Black. Yes, that will be fine. Please leave the cup on the outside table. I'll retrieve it shortly. I must record now. This is entry three. I, Professor Dr. Christopher Ferguson, 
have made an interesting discovery deep down in the darkness. Since Ferguson's was first built as a psychiatric hospital in 1925, the basement has always been used for storage. Until recently, I discovered purely on accident that there was a sewer level past an iron passageway door. I'm almost certain not even my father, the first Dr. Ferguson, knew about. I found a chamber of tunnels. This was not a modern sewer system, no. At first, and only at first, I thought there were oil running through these cold, dark Victorian chambers. A secret oil mine, perhaps? I mean, Coleman's Mining Company has done a lot of digging in historical downtown, as well as south side of Sickle Forest. Listen closely. It's not oil. In fact, I have absolutely no idea what the substance is. At times it flows like water. Is but it black? Water does not move by itself. Is it black? Or climb up walls. Oh! Zolgo. Zolgo, Zolgo. Hello, Jeffrey. How are you today? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep last night. Oh. And why is that? Thoughts. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Jeff, my poor baby. <laughs> it breaks my heart. That's weird that he calls him baby. Just saying. <laughs> to see such a nice young man going through such a tough an unpredictable time. Is there any way I or any member of my staff can help ease your so-called mind? I don't like my roommate. But, Jeffrey, you don't have a roommate to speak to. You're very much alone in your cell number 1428. But I do. Oh. I do. Into the eternal darkness. Into fire. And into ice. Oh, the sadness. It's hitting me again. No, I'm really... <laughs> Fucking the caption say music. <laughs> Damn captions! <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, please, and, and thank you. Oh, the emptiness! <laughs> it hurts to breathe. <laughs> now, Jeffrey, you cannot use this tissue with that mask on. Let this nice guard here remove it for you. Then you can wipe all the tears you want. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm scared to know what's underneath. Music. I can't. It says music. Yeah. Thanks. Guard, assist Jeffrey, please. Guard. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff, my boy, these are tough times, are they not? There have been mischievous cop dealings, facial disfigurements, mysterious disappearances, and homes burned to the very foundation, and even murders. Oh, what an interesting time we occupy. Ah, but, you know, Jeff, you mentioned a roommate. I'd like to get back to that subject. As I said, you're in that room absolutely and completely alone. No, that's not true. 
He screams. He screams so much it makes me sick. I want to scream back at him. Scream until my very organs leap out from my body and strangle him. He never shuts up. Never. I'm trying to understand who you're talking about, but no one comes to mind. Can you tell me his name? That would help a lot. What is his name, Jeffrey? Now there's music. <laughs> I call him Stephen. Ah. Oh, you did so well. Oh my god, you did so okay. You have outdone yourself because that made my skin crawl. Oh my god. Oh. The way it's his mouth moved, open and closed. Oh. And I freaking and I love that the freaking caption said music when when Jeff was crying <laughs> or laughing. Might have been laugh. I think it might have been laughing. I don't know, but oh my god, you have outdone yourself! Holy shit! Any, any more? Any more? Any more? Anything? <gasps> no! Anubis! <gasps> he passed away? No! Aww. 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 I'm sorry, I haven't really been on Facebook that much. Oops. And I hadn't really been paying attention. Or Instagram. Because I follow way too many people on there. Oh, Anubis, the boy Ferguson. No, baby boy. I'm sorry. That's what I called him. <laughs> whenever I see, whenever I see him on your Instagram, something like that, and I would, I always say, baby boy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, that was my reaction, and I'm done. Oh my god. So. Whew. That was crazy and amazing, and, and I'm sorry about this thing right here. It's just there, because I, I usually stream with this whole thing. So. I'm not streaming now, but I'm, yeah. Okay. Bye.